Well, the, the problem is that they, they've, they've taken away the trust fund. Okay, so the money that people put into the Social Security, that's supposed to be put into a trust fund. And then, that, then when you get to the Social Security age, the money comes out of the trust fund. Well, that, there is no money in the trust fund. See, the federal government took that money and put uh, treasury bonds in there instead. Mm -hmm. So right now... So, uh, I mean, if we don't have enough money to fund it, do you see privatizing it or getting rid of it entirely? I mean, what, what do you well, see Well, I happen? think an option to, to, uh, to personalize it would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, I don't, I don't want to... I mean, it's like this other bill of Mr. Ryan. Mr. Ryan, if you have an option to do it, um, mm -hmm. and you might get a better return, and the money is yours. I mean, right now, the money is not yours. It belongs to the federal government. They can just change the rules at any time and, and change Social Security for everybody. Yeah, but I mean, the stock market could crash at any time, and then I don't have any retirement whatsoever. Really, but if you go over the past, say, 50 years, if you invested in the stock market over 35 years, you take it out over 35 years, it's unlikely that any particular drop in the market is going to really majorly affect you. And if you invested in the market 30 years ago, okay, and you look at your money now, you probably have like about a 7% return per year over the 30 years. Unless I had been unfortunate enough to retire in 2008. Right. I mean, that's it's just Yeah, but you're not going to take gambling. that money out in one, and you're not taking all that money out right then. You take but a little bit would, out every you year. You would take a lot of it out at one time, and if your, your, the value of your 401k or IRA dropped, then, I mean, you'd be leaving yourself without much to, to grow, you know, if you well, had to take that's it out. A, that's There's what I'm saying. Over the past 30 years, people haven't had an annualized rate of return in a conservatively managed uh, fund by about 7%. And, you, and you're and you not going to take all that money out in one year. You're going to take out, you're going to get a monthly payment, and then over a period of time, it's going to grow again. But you don't see a need in the long term for a guaranteed minimum uh, benefit like Social Security. Well, as I said, something has to change with the system in order to make it long-term sustainable. Right now, the money that people are getting from Social Security is paid in by those people that are working. Okay, so when, the, when they first started Social Security, uh, Social Security was meant as an insurance policy. If you live in excess of 65 years, which most people died at 62. So if you lived to 65, you were like one of the few. Okay. Now that's because of our increase, you know, the improvement in our health care. Everybody, a lot of people live to past 65. When they started Social Security, there were 18 people paying in for every person that was drawing. Right today, there are three people paying in for every person that's drawing. In 10 years, there will be two people paying in for every person that's drawing. Okay, so that, that's the problem. I, I heard that one solution, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but right now we're only uh, taxing people, um, Social Security taxes on income, I think what, it's like a hundred something thousand dollars. Right, right. What if we were to raise that cap, it seems like... Well, that's one of the options people. that people have talked about. Yeah. Do you support that? Well, I, I think that that's a definitely an option. But then are we going to be paying those people who are, who are making that much money more? If we pay, we pay them more? I mean, it's, it's not supposed to be, yeah. it's supposed to be what you've paid in, you get back. Uh -huh. But you already said it doesn't work like that, so I mean, why not right. just No, no, I think that's system. definitely a, an option. I'm not sure, you know, uh -huh. which is the best option, but we need to look at all kinds of options to try to address the problem. Okay. And I, I you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I would rather not raise anybody's taxes, to tell you the truth, because of the fact that when you send money to that hole in the ground in Washington, you never know what they're going to do with it. Mm -hmm. And to get them to spend it more effectively, I think is, you know, dreaming. Yes, sir. And I do have to follow up on what she's talking about. Thank you for coming today. Um, I think up here of, in Keweenaw County, a lot of people are like myself, are retired here. My wife's uh, family is from here, and she brought me up. And, and um, I think, so there's three things that are very important to retirees, and one is Social Security, two is Medicare, and three is their 401k plan. And um, fortunately, the stock market didn't go tank, and so we still have some, you know, we still have our basic values, although it whipsaws. Um, but I think the, the first part is, uh, you mentioned, Social Security, the really the Treasury bonds are IOUs that the government has used of 
tra uh, right. Social Security funds, so that trust fund was raided. Mm -hmm. And if the, and if these IOUs were paid back, I don't think we'd be in the bind that we are. And Social Security was set up uh, by FDR in the 30s to be an insurance policy and not to be an investment form individually. Nobody can pass their um, Social Security trust fund amount on to heirs. Or if you individualize it, it becomes uh, another IRA or 401k or type instrument. It, you pass it on to your heirs. And I think the funding for Social Security is gone. I mean, this, this is one part where we are socialist. And what we're saying, it's a little bit to give some, you know, some basis. Right. And it has eliminated elderly poverty, more or less, or, or cut it way back. Um, so I think I'd, I'd like to see Social Security protected if possible. I, I agree, Medicare, maybe I need to pay about twice the premium into Medicare. Instead of 100 bucks or 90 what, you know, a month, maybe I have to pay 130 or 150 or 200 a month. Um, Medicare is in trouble, and if it, you know, LBJ started that, but it was never set up right to begin with. So I'm just saying that uh, keep in mind that a lot of folks up here do. Uh, well, of course. That's what's so scary about Mr. Obama's health plan is that it you know, takes $500 million away from health care and, and uh, you know, makes it you know, fund the rest of Obama.